All right, so on this episode, we're going to cover the Laravel folder structure. We're going to go over the most important folders and files you guys need to know about and kind of, you know, break it down. So at a first glance, it seems a bit intimidating. We have all these folders, but if you actually pay attention and read them, you see it's actually quite easy to understand and uh, it's quite straightforward. So the first folder we have is going to be the app folder. This is probably where majority of your application's logic is going to go. And inside it, we have a bunch of other folders, console, exceptions, HTTP. And if you have used PHP exceptions, this is where we define our exceptions. But you don't need to worry about it. Throughout the course, we are only going to be working with these two folders, HTTP and models. Now, HTTP, as the name suggests, uh, it interacts with HTTP requests. So this is where we define our controllers and our models. And I'll later on explain exactly what each of these two are. Uh, next up, we have our models folder, and this is where we have all our models, right? So Laravel already ships in with a user model and a user's table uh, migration. So, but yeah, this is basically where we define all our models. And we will create our own models later on in the coming episodes. Bootstrap, you don't need to worry about that for now. Ignore it. Uh, the config folder, as the name suggests, we store all our application configuration. You know, the time zone, you can see, for example, here, there's a bunch of configurations here. Uh, as we go throughout the course, we will work with some of them. There is a lot of them, but you don't need to worry about them. Uh, you learn them as you go along, so you don't need to know everything right off the bat. The database folder is where we define our database migration or our database schema. So Laravel already comes with an existing users table schema. We'll cover migrations in a later episode, but Basically, all the things related to our database tables and schema goes inside this ta table database folder. Uh, the next folder is a public folder, and this is all the files and basically folders that are publicly accessible on our web server. So uh, as right off the bat, we only have one file actually accessible, which is the index.php. All the requests go through this one index.php file, and nothing else is actually accessible. So users actually can't directly access any of our other files and that's for security reasons but basically this is where we're going to put our images and any html and css we may have later on for now uh, basically we are using everything from uh, we don't have anything inside this public folder next up is the resources and as the name suggests we put all our resources here html uh, CSS, if you have any SAS file, you're going to put them here, any JavaScript, any TypeScript you may have here, any view files. And the view here basically is all our HTML. So you can already see we actually have a welcome.blade. You can see this HTML here. This HTML is this page, right? This page we saw in the previous episode. It's actually the HTML for this page. So I'm going to go ahead and actually delete it. And I'm going to put hello. Uh, YouTube and I can't type today so I'm going to type hello YouTube I'm going to save it and I'll refresh the page and you can see oh it's over there I have zoomed in so we couldn't see it so we can see hello YouTube so this is basically where we put all our HTML inside this uh, resources views folder right and as the name suggests this is what is visible to the user right next up we have our routes this is going to be where we define all the routes or paths on our website so there are four different folders for different types of routes if you're using apis it's going to be inside the api folder uh, you don't need to worry about all any of these the only thing we care about for now is going to be the web and if you open this file uh, inside it there's already a route which basically is the page we already are seeing here, right? It's going to be the root path. And I can basically just copy this uh, just quickly. And instead of this slash, I'm going to say hello. And this is basically where we define all our routes. And if I come here and on the URL, I add hello. You can see we have another page, right? But if I put something else other than a hello, we get a 404 not found. So this is where we define all the paths on our website so if you have a profile page users page feed page all of those are defined on this page 
on this file, web.php. All right. And next one, we have storage. This is where all our file uploads go in, all the log files go inside this folder. Uh, the test folder is all the tests go inside here, unit tests, integration tests. We'll cover them at the end of the course. And the vendor is basically all the dependencies of our project. This is managed by Composer. You don't need to touch it. Or you don't need to worry about it. All automatically managed by Composer, so you don't need to worry about it. And the remaining files here, we're going to actually cover them as we go out through the course. The main one is basically just dot env file this is our environment variables and the configuration for the application so we cover those as we go ahead I just know that these exist they're not overly important as of now the main ones are basically this html here inside the resources and our routes.web so these two are the most important files for now and you can go ahead and play around with this welcome.blade for now see what it does and get something to show on the screen if you like and yeah that is it guys for this episode i'll see you guys on the next episode when we will cover basically more in-depth information about routes and views if you have any questions you can always ask me in the comments below make sure to like and subscribe see you guys on the next episode bye